Libra. We're due in your mid March or no, mid April to May. Okay, we're reading for this current year. Oh, yes. I detest everyone else. Anyway. So, Libra and Crosswatchers, this is for the sign and sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. It just resonates with you. Okay, if not, you just look your nose where it goes. And there it goes. Peace. Doing it four way. I got these holographic Fae and the Fern tarot cards are really pretty. And I figure you guys would appreciate the aesthetic. Let's see. We have two of cups right here for y'all. Look at how pretty that is. I wish you guys could see the rainbow in it, but it's cute. So we got the two of cups right here. Oh yeah, this resonates with you a good deal. If not, you just boop your nose. Away it goes. No point worrying about shit. They ain't got nothing to do with you. They ain't none of your damn business. If you want a personal, it's in the description box below. You look down there. Don't at me. Because, like, you know, repeating myself is a... Nyeh. Though I will not take it out on you. I'll take it out more on myself because that's just the psychotic bitch I am. Yay. So, Libra and Crosswatch. We got the two cups. The page of cups reverse. What else do we got right here? The Hermit Virgo's card. Oh, she released the beast. And. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Look at that little bunny. Look at the little bunny. Alright, let's see. We're going to do our memories collection. No shit, this bag, as soon as I tried to put these cards back in, just ripped. The seam came right the fuck off. And it was just like, what? That's okay, because I got a rubber band, so I will use that to protect these cards. This is Collected Memories. It reminds me of Alice Return to Madness a little bit. So we're going to use these to clarify all these. Okay. So with the Two of Cups, we have the Dog Reverse. I know dog means loyalty in this deck, so I feel like someone was disloyal. Or someone bit the hand that fed them. Page of Cups Reverse. We have a sculpture reverse and coffin nails reverse. These are just falling out whatever way they decide because, like, I really don't know how to read these just yet. I'm going to pause it here in a second and figure it out. Oh, any more? Oh, I don't have that one. I'll just use that with, with the ones I already have. Okay. Nine of Pentacles reverse with. Well, someone doesn't feel very crowned with their crown right now, or very royal. Then we got photos reverse. So, give me two seconds and I'll tell you guys what they are. Okay, this is like, it's just one worded thing, so I kind of have to uh, read the description for you. So, the dog represents obedience. So, since it's reverse right here, I feel with the two of cups, someone was very disobedient or didn't listen. The sculpture... Or was in stagnation, but it's reversed as well. So it's kind of like this page of cups right here. They can't halt their immaturity. Or this page of cups has a hard time becoming stagnant with whatever it is. Or they're frustrated from their own stagnation. Or the lack of stagnation. Like things keep regressing and they don't get to stop and take a break. Such is life, you know? Uh, nail coffins... God damn it, I just saw that shit a second ago, too. Hmm. Practicality. There's a lack of practicality that somebody's noticing with this hermit card right here. Could be dealing with Virgo. But someone's not being practical with their whatever the fuck it is they're trying to do. Right? And the photo. Nope. 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 I can't wait to learn these. Well, these are the most difficult ones because they're just one word phrases, really. Sculpture. Photos. Sentimentality. Nine of Pentacles. Someone doesn't want to feel sentimental about photos or memories or some shit. And that crown represented pride, so I feel like someone's lacking pride somewhere, too. Like they're not proud of some situation that they were in or whatever. So there's two cups right here with the disobedience. Someone did not want to obey. 
Which is, like, weird. But okay, man. Whatever. Libra and Crosswatcher, what's up with this Two of Cups and obedience? Someone felt like they were being watched and they were sick of it. Oh, okay. Uh, that's definitely a different perspective on things. Someone was disobedient because they got tired of being watched and they decided to make a move to go forward somewhere else. Hmm. Let's see. Page of Cups with this um, sculpture reverse. What is the sculpture again? Oh, these are so new. I'm, this is like the first time I'm actually trying to read with these, so. Hmm. I can't remember what sculpture is. But it's definitely wanting somebody to let their guard down. Maybe it's structure or something. I can't, I literally... Like, I'm just going to read them the way I want to. Because it's easier that way. King of Pentacles, reverse. Someone wants to let their guard down around an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or someone just in a position of being a provider of sorts. They're just not doing their job right now. You know? Nails in the coffin and the hermit. Practice. Was that practicality? I think that was practicality. Or structure, something like that. But it's like, something isn't nailed shut. I'll go with that much, you know. There's still love here that's wanting to be offered. Someone still wants that shit. Cause they can't let it go. Their blue flowers gone bold. And there's nothing left. But to sell his soul Just to see the one he wants You could imagine That they love you so much Can you imagine a life Without their touch Every day Any way you can Get off my lap, you fucking cat, I say. Oh, 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 what do you know? It's one of those days. Nine of Pentacles with a photo. Who still has love for yesterday? Sentimentality has to go away. And you recognize that with the fucking hermit once again? Like, it's almost like someone's trying to understand why they keep wanting to deny these good times. It's like someone's trying to deny good times. It's like, why am I trying to deny good times? Why? Why am I doing this? Because the other person's comfortable being left out in the cold. Or they recognize that the person will stay out in the cold if they don't recognize their value. Mm. Libra. What the fuck is this? You got me singing. You got me trying new shit out. Can I sit here wondering what the fuck is up with y'all? Because there's, I feel like there's somebody who wants to come back to you, in a sense. But they're lazy, kind of like an Aries, Aries reading. They're lazy, but not as much. It's just, that it, it, it's like they don't have a click in their head. It's like click, 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 but the light bulb's out. So it's just like you're just turning the knob for nothing. You just keep hearing click, 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 and it's not doing anything at all. It's like you have to feed this person an idea before they even begin to process it. Which is quite annoying, I must say. Let's see. There needs to be balance in this situation with this person. And... Uh, once again, the page of one. Someone's leaving another person abruptly and they're just like, What the fuck? I just made dinner. I just made food. And then you're just gonna up and leave. Okay, whatever. Um, I 
I think they think it's fair to leave. Like, give me my shit and I'll go. You know, one of the, one of those things is like, let me go. Let me, let me just leave this situation because it's just like, uh, it's like they left abruptly. And you're still kind of astonished at that. You're just kind of like staring there. At it, or standing there like a deer in the head. Like just staring. When they're like. Really? You know like it's almost like you're surprised that they left you. Nine of wands with the king of pentacles. Someone's left their guard down with this dude. Even though he isn't doing much of anything it seems like. They want some secrets. You might want secrets. Your person you're dealing with wants some secrets. Libra and Crosswatcher. One of the two. You decide which is which. But it's shit that they already knew that was coming. What, you just want to see if someone tells you the truth? Is that what that is? Because if you're coming for secrets, but you already know what the fuck's going on, what the fuck is the point of doing that unless you want to see if the person's going to lie to you or not? In which, in which case, like, are like... I have to ask, are you checking to see if the li a person lying to you is loyal or not? Because, you know, like, you can't expect somebody to be more loyal to you than they are themselves. If they're protecting themselves from you in a form of a lie, you know, that's probably saying something about your relationship with that person. Either they don't trust you or they don't respect you. And trust is a really big thing, too. You know... If I knew I lied to somebody and they kept coming up asking me the same fucking shit, I would definitely be in the defensive because it's just like, well, what do you want? Like, if you are coming up to me about the shit, that means you already know. So if you're only coming up to verify to me, that's kind of like, well, that's kind of a narcissist thing, too. You got to be careful with that because sometimes, you know, narcissists, you can catch them and they won't fucking listen to a fucking word you say. But if you're a regular person, if you're a person who doesn't have, like, the, those characteristics in the internet form of how that exists, because, like, the real world is completely different. Um, a normal person would react to somebody keep continuing to come up to them, asking them shit. Like, why do you keep asking me shit like I'm doing this? Are you the one doing this? Because, you know, that's the real question. Because I feel like this person keeps coming up asking the same fucking questions or being query about the same things just to verify what they already know is true. Doesn't mean that it is true. It's what they know. And what they know can come from a variety of things. Either their imagination, facts, beliefs, other people, gossip, fucking witch shit. I don't fucking know. But if this person keeps coming back to you to verify what they believe and know is true. I don't even fucking answer them. Fuck it. Fuck it. Because they already made up their mind. Like, what's the point of, like, trying... Like, what's the point of trying to convince somebody who's already convinced themselves that, like, you're telling the truth? You know? Like, what, what the fuck is the point of that? Like, they're not gonna listen to you. They ain't been listening to you this entire fucking time. What's the point of trying to talk to somebody who don't fucking listen? Like... You know, you might as well just smash your head in with a brick from a brick fucking wall and, and call that progress. There's no point in it. But it, it would definitely make you bitter, or make somebody bitter, Libra and the Cross Watchers, to just yield and let this person decide your fate, I feel like. The Empress has been showing up in everybody's fucking shit. And she's been in reverse, except in Virgos. But even in Virgos, her situation is pretty fucking dire. I will have to say. But, um... I don't know, man. Like... This is someone who doesn't know how to fucking listen. And they don't care. To listen. They just want to believe what they want and then, like, tell you whatever. And it's, like, really annoying to me. Labor and Crosswatcher. I'm just letting you know. A person like this is just somebody who just wants to argue. Because they, they have their own problems and their own frustrations. But because they can't handle it themselves, they want to take it out on you. Make you fucking crazy, you know? Page of Cups with the Three of Swords wants to offer their love even though they're like, no, 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 no. And they're all stupid with it, too. They're kind of annoying with it. In fact, they don't know how to do it properly. And it's like, oh, just communicate. 
for love of God. You know, my Aquarius moon is getting really agitated. I'm just letting you guys know. I'm really agitated because there's a lot of actions in here, but I don't see a lot of fucking swords. This person isn't saying anything except with the three of swords reverse, and that isn't even much because they're just fucking sitting there. They're not like these. Like this person isn't doing much of anything at all. Not with communication. Not with thinking. It's all action and it's all stuff. There's a little bit of emotion here, sure, but they don't know how to communicate that emotion in anything other in any other form other than physical, and it's just like. Mm. Like, I'm really fucking annoyed. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but I'm really fucking annoyed with whoever this queerant is, because it's just like... Open your fucking mouth, and maybe I'll hear you. Or listen to me when I open my mouth, and you will hear me. But it's like this person doesn't do that. It's like they don't know how to open their ears. They're too busy picking their ass instead of their earlobes and getting the wax out. And it's annoying. Like, it's really fucking annoying me. I'm sorry, Libra. I don't mean to be annoyed, but I'm greatly annoyed by somebody who wastes my time not telling me what the fuck I need to know or hear. You know? Now my ear's burning, so someone knows I'm talking about them. <laughs> yeah, it, they, like, they're, like, whatever they try to flop to you, or whatever you're flopping to them, it's it falls on deaf ears. This person doesn't know how to communicate. They only worry about physical shit. Three of Pentacles. I mean, it could work, but you're gonna have to turn into somebody who doesn't give a shit. And I feel like that's not how it works, Libra. Like, you're the most emotional of the air signs. And your emotions don't make any fucking sense. At all. But this person isn't helping with the situation either. In fact, they're keeping a listening ear out, just in case. You might definitely be dealing with the fire sign. And this person annoys the fuck out of me. The Hermit with the uh, Five of Pentacles reverse. Someone's looking inside to try to figure out why someone's more comfortable out in the cold than being with them. I'm so annoyed right now. They're not letting the truth fly out. That's probably why the person won't come back because this person doesn't know how to communicate and that's the only sword that has popped up so far, I'm pretty sure. Like, am I lying? Am I lying? Nope. Not there. Nope. Not there. This is the only sword that has come out, and even still, this person doesn't want to fucking say whatever. Libra and Crosswatcher. And I'm greatly annoyed at that. Like, they like they can fucking say anything, and they don't want to. They're more worried about actions. And it's just like, you know, speaking's an action, too. Maybe not as great volume, but if you're not going to communicate some shit... Mmm... They're not communicating about who they're going to go to. Whose problem is that? Whose problem is that? Who who has that issue? I don't. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Not really, but still. Mm. And like this person just got on my fucking nerves. So fucking quick. So quick. Please cover your poop, sir. This is a small facility. Thank you. Three advice cards for you, Libra and Cross Watchers. Maybe four. Uh, there's no, there, there's no victory in this shit. You know, you're gonna end up going off on the handle on this person once you feel defeated. Feel talking about how shit isn't fair and all that stuff and how it's hanging you up or whatever. Like. Mm. Libra, this person gets you in your fucking emotions, and you don't like it. Which is weird for an air sign, but like I said before, you guys are like the most emotional out of air signs. Like, like air signs have emotions, but like Aquarius is like paranoid schizophrenic, and Gemini, you just don't who know who the fuck you're talking to. And Libra, you're the most like solid person there when it comes to emotions, and even you are just like, I have no idea how to deal with any of this shit. Um, and this person just gets you in your emotions just like that. Making you talk about things that, like, I feel like don't even fucking matter to you. But they matter to them. Leave me in Crosswater, I feel like this person will just... They'll talk about things 
that are unfair to them specifically. Not to both of you, to them. Which is, there's nothing wrong with saying things like that. But with the Knight of Swords right here and the Six of Pentacles, and then with the Hangman Reverse, it's like... It's like a man sitting there and you're telling him, like, you know, like, you could do this or that for me. And then he immediately turns it around acting like you're the reason why he's in a bad shape. And you're just sitting there like, how the fuck did it get from you fixing the toilet to me ruining your fucking life? You goddamn child. You know, like, it's one of those things. Women do that shit a lot, too, but men do it in a really weird way, and which I don't understand. But it's one of those things where it's like to try to flip it on you whenever you bring your grievances and then act like it's your fault that like they have grievances in the first place, which is just like, you didn't say anything about this until I brought up my bullshit with you. Why are you all of a sudden having issues with what the fuck I've done when you never stated that shit before? But now that I have an issue with you, you're going tit for tat with me? All right, motherfucker, avoid that shit. Avoid going tit for tat with this motherfucker, because I know you will, Libra. Um, but I will tell you right now, if you go tit for tat for this motherfucker, they're just going to come back and find whatever the fuck they can to talk shit about you for. As if it's fair, which in really reality it's not, because it's not anything in comparison to what I feel like you've gone through, your Libra and Cross Watchers. So it's kind of like, you know, they're destroying whatever up in your face to make you feel guilty. When in reality, they're just deflecting so they don't have to feel guilty. And they know that they can get you in your emotions very easily. So my suggestion to you would be is like not to feed in that shit to begin with. Just be like, oh, okay. Just cut that, cut that emotional shit the fuck out. You can do that. You do that better than fucking Aquarius. Just let it go. Just be like, ah, oh, okay, whatever. If that's how you fucking feel, man. No, oh, well, I guess I am the bad guy, ain't I? At least someone's doing it properly. You know, just throw that shit in their face. Revel in that shit. Wear it and rub it on your titties as best as you fucking can. Just get under your skin with it. Fuck it. Because if they're not going to listen to you, there's no point in you even indulging and listening to them. And I know it's really hard for you not to listen to people, Libra. But this is a case where this is a person who you have to look at like they're the scum of the fucking earth. And listening to them would ruin your life. Just take my advice for it. Ignore them as best as possible. Don't let, don't, do not engage. Do not engage. Let it the fuck go. I gotta do Gemini's. I love you guys, and this is the end of your reading, so if you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe, if you want to. No pressure, of course, but, you know, I greatly appreciate it. Love y'all's faces, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.